hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so this is Rohit today I will show you cool tip about VS code so before that please subscribe my youtube channel like share and comment and uh, watch this video until end so let's get started without any further delay so today agenda is new in VS code is st sticky scroll so this is the new feature suppose you have lots of methods uh, it's a big methods in your class or you have a big class and you are wondering about uh, the searching and scrolling up and down something like that so no need worry about that okay so this is a new feature under VS code and you can just scroll in particular scroll bar and your section wise you can see each and every methods and class so let's move with practical so and please watch this video until end okay so let me open my VS code so this is my VS code so before that we have to enable one setting under VS code so this is uh, in VS code tip of this uh, very most important new sc uh, sticky scroll functionality the nice things about this feature is as you scroll you have to context to where you are in the VS code because this action is stick at the top for uh, for example a class definition method definition etc so this features you need to enable in your vs code setting and search for sticky ensure editor experimental then sticky scroll should be enabled otherwise you will not get this feature okay so how to do that let me show you so there is a so many options with the help of uh, setting we can do that manually or we can edit this setting.json file as well okay I will show you in both way so don't worry about that so first of all you have to open your setting so how to open VS code setting so just click on this gear icon and now you can see setting option just click on this setting and in search bar in the top you can see search setting right so you have to search like sticky so once you search like sticky so sticky related commands or options listed out here right so you have to enable this option that is called sticky scroll enable so I already enabled now you can see this one and uh, how to show into the setting.json file just click on this small icon here in the top right corner open json just click on this one come down this is the setting.json file now you can see the last option here that is called uh, editor.sticky scroll.enable equal to true here you can see this is the setting should be true otherwise you will not get this uh, answer in your VS code right so how to work on that let me show you it's a very more important for us right because you are a developer and you are wondering about the uh, like any class or any JS class let's say I have this small class okay this is a small JS file so if you have thousands number of lines of code and you have lots of methods and long methods so that time this trick will be work definitely and in this class I will show you with practical how is it work so here just focus on that I already enabled that setting right so here you can see line number 5 this JS file is start from line number 5 to line number 38 right so just focus on that just click on this line number 5 and of the line and just scroll up now you can see line number 5 is a automatic stick automatically and after that you can see this method line number 10 to 14 and line number 10 also be uh, stick uh, here now you can see it's a automatic stick here now you can scroll up and scroll down now you can easily understand this is the root parent and after that you can see this method and this method is start from this line number and this all the method body right so now you can see same thing you can apply for rest of the method let's say line number 20 just observe so it's a automatic stick here now you can see stick and all the uh, body of this method is automatic uh, showing here in this line now you can see this line number 5 and 20 is a stick now you can see 
is a automatic stick right so if you need like uh, I want to go in the top so just click on this uh, uh, line number this five now you can see it's automatic comes into the top line this is the uh, another feature right same thing you can apply for this method let's say I want to go this method uh, let's say it's a long method for, for example purple right now I have a little bit code here that's why you can see only this kind of lines but in your case you have lots of line of number of line of codes so that case it will be work right so here you can see this is the method right if you go to this method just you have to click on this one now you can see this is a method body right so this is js file same thing you can apply for html as well so suppose this is my template and this template is start from line number one to line number 50 right so how to check this uh, sticky is working for the html right so just you have to click on this uh, template or any tag as you want let's say uh, this card so once you scroll up now these two line automatic stick and same thing you can apply for the table right because table having lots of tr td th right so now you can see it's automatic sticks these four, uh, four lines now you can see is automatic gone now next uh, this template also is sticks now you can see this uh, sticks all the functionality now you can see right so this is a very cool features uh, in this vs code uh, new releases so how to check this is the new releases so just click on this about and now you can see uh, the version is a 1.7.10 right so you have to upgrade your vs code first then you will be get this option otherwise you will not get so this is the prerequisite right so suppose that i want to change something under uh, that is called setting.json file let's say i want to change this uh, sticky suppose i have uh, sticks these lines so it's these lines should be highlighted with the help of some code so how to do that let me show you so after sharing this feature uh, it might be like a little um, to make to mark and your co uh, color themes right so how to make it the color themes so let me show you here so you have to do one thing under setting.json file now you can see editor dot is uh, sticky is called dot enable is true right same thing you can apply for um, like uh, we can say that background color uh, sticky scroll background color sticky scroll hover right so how to do that so I already have these two settings here right so you have to enable it so you can write under workbench dot color customization so just here uh, you have to back it like that same thing you can enable this one and let me save this so once you save it just go back into JS file once you uh, scroll up and it's automatic highlighted the red line because of that settings so once you mouse over it's a different color now you can see different color mouse out it's a different color because of this is the sticky right same thing you can apply for methods as well let's say this methods and now it's a method is highlighted because these two lines now is mouse over this is a very cool features right same thing you can apply for html as well let's say here and just I want to scroll up now it's automatic uh, sticky and you can easily understand with the help of this highlighted color for this one right because these all sections these four lines is a uh, sticky that's why you can see the color as a red once you mouse over you can easily understand this is the line number eight seven one one two based on your need you can do that okay so this is all about like uh, we can change the setting and we can provide the customizations under VS Code and it's a easy to understand or it's, it's a easy to develop any kind of snippets or we can say that any code uh, for J, uh, JS file or HTML file okay or TS file as well because TypeScript also work uh, this uh, functionality and uh, you can work accordingly so please mention your thoughts comments under the comment section if you like these features and please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates like this and please keep in touch so till then bye bye take care and thank you for watching bye bye